Are you ready for what's going to happen to the silver and gold price when the bubbles burst? And I'm not talking about the bubble in the silver price or the bubble in the gold price, because we know both those metals are probably a little undervalued right now. We're talking about the bubbles in the stock market. We're talking about the bubbles in the real estate market. We're talking about the bubbles in the debt market. What will happen to gold and silver? We're going to talk about that in this video, because if you're anything like me, sometimes maybe we get a little worried. And hey, us basement dwellers want to stick together. By the way, thank you for being here. Please subscribe to the channel. We're on a big drive to 40,000 subscribers. You can be a part of that. Make sure you turn on notifications when you do subscribe. And thank you in advance for any comments, super chats, and thumbs up. Now let's dig in to what we can expect when the big bubbles burst. When those bubbles burst, we will see a fast and dramatic move into precious metals. That's my opinion. Don't make any financial decisions based on anything I'm saying, but that's my truth. And I base that upon the fact that as we look at what's happened recently during the banking crisis, during the C-19 crisis, any crisis that hits, we've seen a faster and faster move into precious metals. And are we starting to see it already? Let's run out to Kitco and see what they're saying about the Western investor and what they're doing right now with precious metals. Ernest Hoffman tells us that the Western investors are getting into gold for the long term, supporting prices globally and in India. Increasing interest from Western investors is supporting a surge in gold prices around the world and in India. That's according to Sakila Mirza, deputy CEO of the London Bullion Market Association. Oh, this comes from the LBMA says, quote, where the shift is coming is gold is no longer just interesting in Asia. It's becoming more and more interesting in the West. Let's think about that for a second, guys, because people are realizing we've got a bubble in the stock market. We've got a double bubble in the tech stock market. We know there's a bubble in the residential real estate market. And we know that interest rates are coming down so keeping money in traditional safe harbor investments like CDs or bonds is also going to become less attractive. We also know that inflation's going to take off. So that makes gold and silver all that more attractive. And doesn't that make sense? And Mirza said that Western investors are not only looking at gold as a near-term opportunity, but also getting involved on a long-term basis. That means they have strong hands. They're not looking to make a quick trade. Long-term stability through your investments. That's what gold has to offer. She said that shift from not just focus, focusing on the interest in Asia, but actually in the Western markets is really supporting the price of gold. The Western investor has shown up to the party and that is a big, big, massive deal. Your neighbors are waking up. I know you're a basement dweller. You think outside the box. We were early. We woke up before everybody else, but now we have more and more of the generalist investors waking up to what we already know. And there's only so much room on the silver and gold lifeboat. Only a few more seats and they're getting more and more expensive. We are in a recession right now. Before we talk about that, I want to say thank you to channel sponsor Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. They do check all the boxes. If you're looking to get your hands on some silver, gold, or platinum group metals, before maybe that silver and gold lifeboat gets completely filled up, please do yourself a favor and consider Pimbex. I found they have ultra competitive pricing, a great selection. And what's really important is they're a company that I can trust. You need to do your own due diligence, find that out for yourself. But based on the overwhelmingly positive response that I've received from basement dwellers who have given Pimbex a shot, 
I think that's what you'll find out as well. Also, please, thank you for First Mining Gold for sponsoring Ron's Basement and Fortuna Mining. Both are gold sector, silver sector, mining and development stage companies. You can learn more about them. I'll put their link along with Pimbex in the description of this video. But are we in a recession? Yes, we are. Absolutely right now. That will be the catalyst that moves these bubbles and double bubbles to be burst and will be the catalyst for massive amounts of money moving into the silver and gold sector. Look, everywhere we look, we know things are slowing down. Bankruptcies are skyrocketing. Debt levels on the consumer are unbelievably high right now. You know, I know from driving around, when I'm driving around here, Manchester Road in St. Louis or or uh, along the outer road to the Six Flags where I always bring my daughters, I see Burger Kings getting shut down. I mean, if they're shutting down Burger Kings, you know things are getting bad. Really, on a serious note, the economy is in a recession right now. I got a little secret for you. They never admit that we're in a recession until six months or a year later. They always like to say everything's great, right? And we hear that from Janet Yellen. We hear that from Jerome Powell. We especially hear that from our politicians. Everything's awesome. Any time in the past that we've ever had a recession, they never announce it until six to 18 months subsequent to the event. They're not gonna say, oh, we think we're going into a recession. No, they always say, now that we've looked at the data, from a year ago, we were actually in a recession back then. We're in a recession right now. It will cause the bubbles to burst because things like the stock market are forward looking. The stock market calls BS way sooner than these politicians are going to admit to what's going on. The residential real estate market, who can afford these prices, right? It is the biggest bubble ready to be burst and you know what's going to happen. Then the Fed will lower rates. What happens when the Fed lowers rates? I'll tell you what happens. All these people with trillions of dollars in certificates of deposits, money market accounts, safe harbor investments where they're getting 4 or 5% now, when the Fed lowers rates, they're going to be getting 2 to 3%. They aren't going to like that because when the Fed lowers rates, that's also going to ignite a new wave of inflation. So suddenly getting 2% on your safe harbor certificate of deposit money, while the inflation rate is at six or eight or 12% is going to be a big, big problem. And those same people aren't going to be interested in the stock market. It was risky to begin with, but as the economy is slowing, right? As inflation is going up, companies are going to be making less and less profit. Stock prices, look, it's a bubble. It could really burst, but in best case scenario, it's going to levitate where it is. People are going to be forced to look more at precious metals. They'll be happy when they dig in a little bit because we saw this coming before everyone else. Hey, thank you for joining me here in the basement today. I hope you feel comfortable. I hope you feel like you found a little home away from home, a refuge in the storm. I want you to come back. I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time.